acting on an alert from Pakistan's national security adviser Nasir Khan Janjua, India has neutralized three of the ten terrorists suspected to have crossed the border to carry out an attack in Gujarat during the Mahashivratri. Defence expert Kamar Agha, who spoke to NNIS on the matter, said that this was a good omen that both countries had quickly taken to sharing intelligence at the right time so as to alert the other neighbour. Revealing that the target of the three terrorists who were killed was the Somnath Temple in Saurashtra on the west coast, an official had reportedly said no further information could be shared as operations were underway to track the other seven. The terrorists who are suspected to have infiltrated through the sea route could belong to the lashkar e taiba or the jaish e Muhammad and could include men from a third country in the neighbourhood. Janjua had warned his Indian counterpart, Ajit Doval, on March 5th of a possible 26 by 11 style fidain assault on religious sites and processions in Gujarat during the Mahashivratri celebrations. Fears of an attack in Gujarat had been mounting over the past four months with the discovery of five abandoned fishing boats in Harami Nullah. I believe it's a very positive development and uh, I hope, you know, they further develop this type of understanding between the two. And uh, it will help check the militancy. But the problem is, you know, we still, it lacks trust on Pakistan, you know. So it is just a beginning, you know. So we'll have to wait and see, you know, how it develops, you know. But uh, certainly, I, I think it was a very positive stand taken by the Pakistani authorities informing the government of India. And I hope that in future also they'll continue to cooperate, uh, not only, you know, one particular type of terrorist, but that as long as this is not sufficient you know this information you know as long as i mean they should also close down the 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 militant camps which are operating in pakistan so that would be a, i think a, would be a, a better step you know that would help containing the militancy in the region in pakistan as well as in india so, so but the problem is you know the pakistani court they continue to be, you know, uh, n uh, not accepting any of our evidence or further invest judicial inquiry, you know, they have not yet set up. Inquiry is there, you know, but uh, cases are there, Phil, but, but they keep on denial mood, you know, they are not accepting our evidences which we have provided them. They, they want more all the time. There is, a, you know, unless and until, you know, there is a change in Pakistan's judiciary, you know, it stands in that. If they adopt that friendly, you know, then things can move further. Otherwise, we'll come up with the same problem, you know. So there is a need. I, I think Pakistan should set up a special court, which should be run by uh, the people, you know, who are objective in their approach towards India and contain this problem, you know, and deal firmly with this uh, the problem. Powered by NNIS.